Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about working at Google as a career goal. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story here and I'm gonna have to break this down into, well, we're gonna have to make this a small series because there's four questions in here, but let's start. Hey Frederick, you are my favorite YouTuber. I am dead serious. Oh, of course I am. I'm great, aren't I? I have some questions though. I have been sitting on the sidelines of the development community since 2011 and I regret it so much. I have denied coding as my calling for all these years and I'm ready to be part of, the te of a team and solve meaningful problems. Question number one. As a new developer, is it worth it to seriously set my aspirations on a career at Google or one of the fan companies. I'm not concerned with prestige or shiny objects, I just want to solve important problems and be on the forefront of stuff that changes everything. I want to be a part of a big po of big picture innovation and make a difference. So, the short answer is that no, it's of course not unreasonable for you to set your expectations working at a fan company. There's just join the club, guys. There's so many, so many people who wants to be part of the fan companies that the fan companies can literally make you do practically anything they want. And if you turn them down, there's a thousand people behind you who's gonna take the, who are gonna do what they want. Let me th though give you a bit of insight from someone who has worked at a very big company and a very big IT company, and I have friends who work at these companies as well. And let me explain something to you, which I hope will give a good insight into how organizations such as these large IKT companies actually work. Guys, if you want to make a difference, there are more options out there than Google. I know, right? It's like, um, I'm a little bit scared because I'm actually using the Chrome browser now and they might actually track me down. But guys, Google is not, I'm very sorry to say, the only place in the world where innovation is happening. The reality is actually that if you go and work for Google or Facebook or Amazon, it doesn't really matter, you have no guarantees that the specific project that you join is going to be something that quote unquote makes the difference. That's the problem with these big organizations. It doesn't really matter if you're in Google or Facebook or if you're on wh whichever company, if you're working on a shit project. When I've talked to these companies in the past when in recruitment discussions and so forth, the job offers that they have had for me has been for products that, I mean, sure, it's it's I mean it's Facebook or it's Amazon or whatever like it's these are really great companies nobody's denying that the label like the their brand is really high value but the product didn't seem to be something interesting and that's the key thing here if you want to make a difference your focus should be the project not the company because there are so many companies out there in the world doing much more important things than every single project inside of Google. If you think that the, uh, the Google does, or Facebook or so forth, like every single developer in every single one of their teams are working on something that is more important or more interesting than every single other developer outside of these companies, then they have really, really sold you a false view of the world. I have, I, uh, I'm working today with a company where they are literally doing something that nobody else has been doing. Like it's the only company who does it and it's going pretty well. Like it may not be the sexiest thing in the world, but it is making an impact in that space. And Google does the same thing. Some projects in these fan companies are really interesting and might be something that you really want to look into. And some projects are just going to be a some like some it might be some other product when i at my last job i had the same situation we were working on the main application in my specific team we were working on the money maker and that's the best place to be because if you're working on the money maker that means that you get all the funding you get all the interesting like all the attention and you get all of the capacity and budgets and stuff like that the problem usually is that you have no way of shimming in any improvements because you're like in delivery mode every single second of every single day because you you don't have you have no slack time whatsoever but it feels great to be loved to be the golden boys that's what oh, well there was a few girls as well to be the golden people let's call it that that's great 
And if you're on the outskirts, if you're in one of the, like, because we had coworkers who were working on side systems that were just supporting or more or less supporting system to all, to us, they are always in a situation where like they could get fired tomorrow. They have no way of knowing. They could just plug, pull the plug on that project and that's the whole story. And I mean, I have teams today when I work in the same sort of thing, like where we know, everybody knows that some products are more lucrative and more interesting and like closer to the heart of what the company's focusing on at that moment. And trust me, you two, like uh, all of these major companies, they have the same thing. Some of their projects are money makers and some of their products are like experiments or side things that sort of are useful. We have the same thing. And I promise you, the second the money starts drying up or the priorities change or something like that, that's the first project that's going to go out the door. And if you're on one of those projects, you may have been at, like, the only thing that you're really going to have is either you can move to some other, because that's one nice thing about being in a big company. They will, in many cases, like, they will offer you an alternative. Like, we had the same thing at my last company when they pulled the plug on that project. Like, well, if we wanted to, we could move to the UK and like pick up the pick up one of the other team, be part of another team if we wanted to. And Google and Facebook and like these big companies, they're big enough that that sort of thing can happen as well. But I really want you to understand is that it's not about being part of a fan company if you want to make a difference. It is about the project that you join the problem that you're going to solve because trust me when I say this you can find yourself bored at Google just as you can find yourself bored at any other company if you if you're in the wrong team on the wrong project so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to really be part of like big picture innovation and things like that the focus for you should not be to join one of the fan companies if that's what but if that is your goal then go for it there's like you're going to have competition there's quite a lot of people who want to be part of it because of this idea, uh, well, it's not just that, of course, there's a little prestige in it as well. There's a lot of people who want to do that. And there's nothing wrong with, it, with aspiring to doing something like that. But if you want to innovate and if you want to make a real difference and actually help some people out, you can look at so many other options. There are so many companies out there who are making a big difference. I have co-workers today who, are work, who used to work at companies that Google contracts to because they have systems that Google needs to do their business. So like, it's not just about the brand of one of the fan companies if you're looking to make a real difference in, in IT. It's about the project, the problem that you are solving. And trust me, if you go and ask Mozilla and the Linux Foundation, they will might have a few things to say about where the real innovation is happening. Have a great day.